Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get into Locked Max. Uh, before I start any of this, I just want to say this is for educational purposes only, alright? Uh, in theory, this could get you past parental controls, or any controls for that matter, but you know what? I don't want anyone getting hurt, okay? So this is for educational purposes. Or, you know, for purposes that you use only on your computer. For instance, say I locked myself out of my computer, I would watch this tutorial and unlock it, right? Because it's my computer. So don't go around hurting people with this tutorial, don't cause riots, don't, you know, you know what I mean, right? Anyway, so before I get started with this, I'm just gonna do a brief explanation of how this hack works. And you can skip ahead if you want, there'll be a link probably next to my computer right now. All right. So essentially on Macs, or any computer for that matter, uh, they have administrators, which I will represent by circles, and administrators can basically do whatever they want with the computer. Uh, they'll be prompted to type in their administrator password once in a while, but I mean, you, the administrator would know this because they're the administrator and they made the password. Now administrators can make users which are, you know, less able versions of them and will use squares to represent them. Uh, the administrator can make as many users as it wants and as you can see the users can be different shapes and sizes. <laughs> anyway, um, now the problem with being a user is that you need the administrator password to do anything interesting and that's kind of sad. Because some administrators can restrict users from even downloading applications without needing a password and stuff. And I think that's just plain silly, right? Because computers should be open, right? Anyway, this tutorial would be for a user, not for an administrator, because as an administrator you can do everything. So, essentially, when you first get your computer, or when a computer is first turned on, a Mac computer, it goes through a little setup video. If you haven't seen it, it doesn't matter, I'll show you it later. Um, and in that setup video, you create the administrator account. Because there's no accounts on the computer, right? So you'd have to create an administrator account. So the way the hack works is this hack takes this file on your computer that tells your computer that it's been set up and it deletes it. So when your computer gets turned on next, Sorry, I don't know why I did that. That wasn't very necessary. Anyway, so um, when you delete it and you turn your computer back on again, your computer thinks it's brand new and it doesn't register that all these are there, even though it's still there. This hack doesn't get rid of stuff. Um, and then when you turn it on again, you can set up another administrator file, which has just the same powers as this. So on that account, sorry, another administrator account, so on that account, you can do whatever you want to the computer, I guess. You can, you know, create more users, you can create more administrators, you can delete users, you can change passwords, and it's really amazing. Educational purposes only, I'll remind you. Anyway, so um, this, is, this is how it's done. Uh, to your right, there's going to be a little link. Uh, I'll, it'll be under the title code, I guess. Uh, click on that so you can follow along easier because, I don't know, it's going to be kind of hard to follow along if you don't have that open. Anyway, all right, I had to move inside because the lighting outside was just horrendous. Anyway, so to prove to you how much faith I have in this hack, I'm going to be using my own computer that I spend most of my time with. So, uh, you know, this just shows you how much confidence I have in this hack. Because if this were a dangerous thing that a lot of stuff could go wrong with, I would not be using this computer. Anyway, so, uh, first step, uh, make sure that you've opened up the code in a window next to this YouTube video or whatever, because that'll really be helpful. Alright, so, uh, shut down your computer. Uh, this next step is gonna seem, oh, this is really creepy. All right. Uh, this next step is going to seem a little bit scary, but uh, just don't worry about it. So, uh, turn the computer on and then immediately hold Apple S. So I'm still holding it, and then just wait, and this is where it gets really scary. Now, I know this looks like you just killed your computer. 
you can release Apple S, by the way. Uh, I know this looks like you just killed your computer, but you really didn't. Um, all right, so essentially what you're looking at right now is a prompt-based operating system. So there is no graphical anything, just text, a text-based operating system. And right here, that's where you can input commands and whatever. And the first command we're going to do is the first command on our list, which you should have opened up, which is uh, slash sbin slash physic. I'm really not sure how that's pronounced. They just call it physic. And then dash y. And essentially what this command does is it just checks to see if there's anything wrong with your computer. If there is something wrong with it, if there's like errors that come up, just, you know, exit out, don't do this, because something bad might happen. All right, so after you type in that, go to the next line of code you need to type in, which is slash sbin, whoops, slash mount, dash wu, slash, and this essentially uh, just mounts the Mac part of your computer so that you can delete that file that we want to delete. So now we do CD which changes your directory to the directory that has that file in it. So CD and then we have to list the directory which is dash var dash db dash dash I mean slash sorry doesn't matter, you're following along with the list. Alright, enter, and now we are in that uh, file, I guess, that folder, the DB folder. Pretty sure it stands for database. And now you can type ls, which basically lists all the files, and under this, there should be a nice file called apple setup done, and that is the one that we want to get rid of. We want to eliminate it! All right, so now all we have to do is the remove command, which is as easy as rm dot slash dot apple setup done. Make sure that you have the case uh, good on this because it's case sensitive. That was a really bad sentence, but whatever. Uh, setup done. And now press enter. I must have typed it in wrong. One second. Oh, see? I did not spell Apple Setup Done right, so make sure you're not stupid. So now I'm just going to retype what I did, but with the right words. Sorry, it's kind of hard to type while I'm holding a camera. Um, Apple Setup Done. Enter. And there we go. No errors. And now when you type ls again, you'll notice that there is no apple setup done file, which is what we want. And now that you notice that there's no file, you can just simply type reboot and enter. All right, now my computer takes a minute to boot up uh, whenever I do this, so I'm just going to skip ahead to when the interesting part starts. So now, there we go. We've got the startup video. You just boot it up and then it does this. And it's really kind of beautiful because it's like you have a brand new computer.